you know what, the thing I learned about this from this project was these were all completely different people. They might live in a tiny town um, 18 miles or so away from Iowa City, but they all are different. And they all, um, there's no stereotype of those Oxford people at all. You know, when, when you start examining small town America, whether it's in Wyoming or Mississippi or Iowa, there, there are certain fundamentals, there are certain constants. Um, one is food. People love to talk about food. Um, weather. weather. People also really talk about illness. One thing that's really interesting for me is whenever we interviewed someone who was maybe over 75 or 80, um, I just popped the question, what happens after you die? Because I'm really interested. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, so we got lots of interesting responses. You know, we met a Buddhist. We met a couple of people who were very convinced that they would be walking with Jesus in heaven and they would be reunited with um, their parents and um, children who had died before them. Uh, there were other people who said, what do you mean what happens after you die? You, they throw you in the ground, they, they cover you up with uh, dirt, and that's it. When we showed them the photographs, uh, there'd be a, a, almost no pause at all. And the first words out of most people's mouth, mouths was, oh my. <laughs> you know? So I think uh, them seeing those together just uh, started a whole thought process for them. And uh, a reflect, you know, reflection and, uh, and consideration of, of their lives and their past. After Peter and I did maybe 30 interviews, people started figuratively lining up to be interviewed. Um, occasionally, Peter would call and set up an interview and someone would say to him, I've been waiting for you to call. I've been thinking about how I'm going to answer your questions. For me, the story continues because I, uh, I know so many of the people even better now. And um, they tell me their, their stories still. Well, they continue to become richer and richer as time goes on. And then, of course, I would like to Steve. Our idea, or at least my idea when I started this, was um, somehow in a thousand years from now, two thousand years, when we're all dead, when names like Obama and, and Palin and Bush mean nothing, absolutely nothing. People might, in some digital or some to-be-invented format, might be able to go back and see Peter's great photographs and see these interesting interviews with these people who lived right at the cusp of the 20th to 21st century. And they could find out what it was like to live way back then, a thousand, two thousand years ago. So that's my interest in doing it. 